Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C16 license, also known as the Fire Protection Contractor license. So a fire protection contractor lays out, fabricates, and installs all types of fire protection systems, including all the equipment associated with these systems, excluding electrical alarm systems. And that definition is straight from the CSLB website, and that's the Contractor State License Board. So essentially, a C-16 license is a requirement for anybody that's looking to bid on projects in involving fire protection and sprinklers where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. Now, how long does it take to get the C-16 license? You're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. Six to eight week application processing time is typically standard, and then another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. Now, the time frame can fluctuate based on a variety of factors, but generally you're looking at about 90 days. Now, the basic requirements for a California contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age, you've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID, you've got to have a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Now, the experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience within the last 10 years working in fire protection, you've got to have somebody who could sign off on that experience, and you've got to be able to submit documentation of your experience to the CSLB if they ask to see proof. Now, who can sign off on your experience? You could use a general contractor. You could use a C-16 license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor if you used to work as a firefighter. You could use a fellow journeyman or fellow employee that you've worked with within the last 10 years. And then in some cases, you could even use a business associate. Now, for more information about filling out the application correctly, check out the links in the description and you'll find resources on how to get that done the right way. Now, criminal history. Everybody's got to do live scan fingerprinting when they apply for a license. Be honest on your application if you do have a criminal record. Typically, fraud, forgery, and embezzlement are the big red flags for the CSLB, so if your charges don't fall under those categories, you should be okay, but be ready to submit court documents just in case. Now, what's on the exam? There's going to be two parts. There'll be 115 questions covering contractor license law. There'll be another 115 questions covering fire protection. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice test, and it's going to be done on site on a computer. And if you need to, you can bring a translator the day of the exam. Now, the C-16 license covers planning and estimation, covers installation of underground fire main systems, installation of fire protection systems, fire protection system maintenance and repair, and 22% of the exam covers safety. And again, for a deeper look at the C-16 license, practice exam, study guides, etc., check out the links in the description. Now, after you pass your test, you're going to get your results immediately. The test is done on a computer, so you can do a retake. Generally, within about three weeks, you can retake the exam. Once you pay your license activation and provide a contractor bond number, you should get your license in the mail in about two to three weeks. Now, the costs associated with the California contractor license. You'll pay a state application fee. You'll pay a license activation fee, and then every two years, you'll pay a renewal fee. You'll pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and then you'll provide a contractor bond number. Now, at the end of this video, you'll see another video that's going to be breaking down the most up-to-date California contractor license costs, and I suggest you watch that video. So getting your C-16 license, it can be a very smooth process if you have the correct information, if you fill out your application correctly, and you pass the exam the first time. And these are all things we can definitely help you out with here at digitalconstructive.com. Just want to thank you for watching. Any additional information on getting licensed, bonded, trade skills, and more, like and subscribe to our channel. Any questions, drop them in the comments. But again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.